It's very narrow. <laughs> this is a typical door. How deep it is? Yeah. Oh, it's very deep. It's the name of the city outside, but so we call this underground city with the same name. Mm. Uh, and this underground city, beginning from now, it has eight different levels. You can imagine your apartment, mm. your house, you are climbing up the stairs, right? Or you use the elevator. Mm. So we are going down in mm. here. This is like the apartment, exactly. And this is 100% man-made. Step by step, it was carved out by the people beginning from 12th century BC, like as the first time 3200 years ago, they started to carve this first part. So, what is the function of this place? This small area is the animal bar, the animal place that mm. the people kept their animals. So, while those people were hiding themselves in this underground city, they were also taking their animals together into this part. Um, you can see these kind of holes with a little one here mm. that the people were tying up their animals and they were putting the grass and they were feeding their animals in here. They kept the animals in the first level because it is not easy to bring the animals through the narrow tunnels to the second or the third level. You can Can we step on the glass? Uh, yeah, step. Yeah. I think you have the travel insurance, right? Uh, yes, <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are the six. They had these kinds of apps that shows the direction of the church. And down here on the ground, you can see two large holes. They look like the jars. Actually, they are the jars. They are wine jars. They will keep the wine inside because for the Christians, the wine is important for their religious ceremonies during uh -huh. their rituals. They use it. And this is the stone where the people put the candles in the past. Uh, but not used anymore. And also, when you are passing through the tunnels, you will see these kind of little holes. And another one is here, another one is there. So these are the little holes where the people put the oil lamps. Today we use these kinds of electrical lamps, mm -hmm. right? But in the past they were using the oil lamps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these are the places where they put the oil lamps in this underground city. Here in this church we don't see any painting, any frescoes about the Christianity, but there are still two church carvings on the wall and probably there were some gold or silver crosses here mm. but later on they were taken by some people so today we can just see the carvings we can't see the real crosses where they went probably some treasure hunters just took them away mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very small. <laughs> the gate. You see the similar glass panels? But these are not the graves. These are the... What are they? Food storages. 
Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So these kinds of places, and especially if you see these kinds of little holes inside the rooms, like this one and that one mm -hmm. and this one, you should know that all of these holes are or were used for the food. Food means uh, grains or cereals, okay. Okay. such as barley, wheat, lentil, corn, that you can keep them for a long time. Uh -huh. So they were just stocking their foods in here when they needed to use here as shelter. They were just grinding their foods mm. oh, yeah. by, by using these kinds of millstones, yeah, mm. and they were consuming eating these kinds of uh, grains in the underground. Mm. We are not sure that if those ancient people uh, made fire and cooked their food, probably they didn't, because if you make fire, the smoke will go outside, uh -huh, uh -huh. so it will be the sign for your enemies to understand that someone is living here, so it will not be good for you. Uh -huh. So that's why we think that. They didn't make any fire, but on the way outside, we will see a big kitchen. And okay, we will talk about that kitchen over okay, there. Okay. Now we will use one of the lowest tunnel. It's just a few meters. It's not very long. It's this one. Yeah. And while you're walking through, please uh, watch your uh, head. head. Yeah. <laughs> it's very narrow. Uh -huh. Is it kitchen tech? Ah, no. No, winery. Winery. Oh, winery. But, but wine. That is the most funny place for the people in the past. <sighs> so, today, the local people of Cappadocia are like 100% Turkish and they are Muslim people. But since 4,000 years, the people have been producing their own wine in Cappadocia. Like the Hittites did it, the mm. Christians did it, the Muslims did it, and still they are doing. And for this underground city, also we have two wineries. This is the first one, and we will see another one in the fifth level. So how they did the wine in here, it's very simple. There's a still simple technique used in the villages today also. They were taking the grapes from outside. Grapes, right? Yeah. Grapes, yeah. yeah. They were producing the grape wine. Mm -hmm. And so they were putting the grapes here, and after that, they were going inside. Probably with their feet, they were just crushing these grapes in here, uh -huh. and then the grape juices were flowing through this hole uh -huh. into this little stone part. Mm. After that, they were uh -huh. filling these grape juices into the big pots, mm -hmm. covering them and putting them into a dark and a cold section for fermentation. So mm. generally in three weeks it is fermented. So uh -huh. this is the process of the wine making in this underground city. So the people in Turkey, I told you they're like all the Muslims, but yeah, we're not that good type of Muslims you can see. So <laughs> still you can see some people drinking the wine and some of them uh, obey the rules of yeah. the Islamic religion that they don't drink. Yeah. So it's a mixed country and still you can see some people producing wine for themselves in Cappadocia today because okay. uh, this great plantation is still big income for the people in this place. Some of them are producing wine of course, but some of them directly selling the grapes. Uh, so, okay. so if you go to the villages you can see the huge vineyards. Uh -huh. yeah. They wanted to survive and we cannot say that. They looked for the comfort, so they slept in everywhere. But also we will see very beautiful sleeping rooms on the way outside. So here, by the way, this is the third level, guys. This is level three. Uh -huh. And here you can see a huge stone. This is a typical door. This is this the stone door that the people were pushing this door from left side and they were closing the entrance of the cell and they were keeping safe behind and almost each level has its own stone door, so we can say. And when they wanted to open the back, it is not that easy because it's too heavy. Mm. It's around. It's just to slide it like that? Yeah, they just push it, but how you can open it back? Ah, yeah. You cannot pull it back because there's a very narrow gap here that you cannot put your uh, yeah. hands ahead. So, you're in the middle, 
there is a little hole that the people were putting a stick inside. It can be wooden stick or iron stick uh -huh. from both sides. They were holding it and taking it back easily by using uh -huh. these kinds of sticks. Otherwise, you cannot take it back. Okay. And this door, look at this, is more than one meter of the tunnel. We went down here that we used is very low. Yes. So it's not easy to bring this. It means that this one was carved out from this place and it was used in the ah, same area. Yeah, okay. It was not brought from outside. We will directly go down to level five. Oh, okay. Last point. And by the way, this stone door probably before was standing here. Mm -hmm. Is the door right? Using, yeah, oh, this okay. is the door, but big part of it broken. I don't know why. Uh -huh. And these are again the food storages. This tunnel is the longest tunnel. This is the ventilation on the left hand side. You can check it how deep it is. Yeah. Oh, it's very deep. Yeah, maybe when the people are not happy to live in the sun, they're <laughs> yeah. committing suicide. Yes. <laughs> You said about a big pot that they use to make uh, the grape juice. Yeah. And do you see still here? No. There's yeah. nothing here oh, okay. coming from the past, but during the restriction period, they found thousands of them. Small, oh. big, but all mostly broken. Uh -huh. They found some animal furs and uh -huh. two skeletons, and some little coins, that's it. Okay. So there is no inscription. I mean, mm. it means that all these information are based on the theories of Dark Elves. So we, can, we can't say that mm -hmm. these information is like 100% correct information. Yep. So probably in the future, these informations will be updated. Because yep. in every six or seven years, the people discover a new underground city in Cappadocia, uh -huh. and the information will change. And for the toilet, it's the same. We don't have exact information, but it is thought that the people were using a small pot as a kind of portable toilet mm -hmm. uh, that they were keeping their poops inside. The, the bottom side is very tiny, mm -hmm. very narrow. Yeah, and they are just putting them down here to make them steady for not falling to the right and left side. Also inside the room, you can see these kinds of holes on the ground. Also, they were used to put the pots, but inside these pots, the people did not uh, keep the wine always. Sometimes they kept the food, sometimes they kept the water, sometimes they kept the wine because you can keep these kind of pots for any kind of aid. Yeah. Sometimes they kept the shits with the poops inside. Uh -huh. So they were the multifunctional pieces that the people used in here at that time. Still in Cappadocia, the locals are using the pots. But of course not for keeping their poops inside. <laughs> they were using them to keep some food inside especially. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because you can keep your food uh, inside is pot fresh for a very long time. They're very useful. Uh -huh. And you know, we have yogurt, you know the yogurt? Yes. Yeah, yeah I really love the yogurt. And in Cappadocia, the people, uh, the ferment pot. Uh -huh. So everything, well, let's say that the pot is very important for everything in Cappadocia. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this is the last point. This is the second level, but we are on the other side of the underground city. So it's not the same second level. Because on the other side, in the second level, we saw the church 
That's right. Kitchen's graveyard. Uh -huh. So here is the kitchen, completely different. And this room is very dark, very black. Mm -hmm. These are the real small. They're spicy. Mm -hmm. oh. so pepper, meat, and something like that. This stone <laughs> and this stone is completely different from each other. This is called basalt. That is pretty hard, pretty mm -hmm. tough. And this is the tooth, pretty soft. Uh -huh. So we are not sure how the people brought this stone door to this underground city. Uh -huh. Some other says that it was found in here while they were digging this underground city and also started to use this one for this hay, I mean uh -huh. for grinding the spices. Uh -huh. So at the back side here guys you can take a few pictures and then we go outside directly. Okay. Mm-hmm. 